I'm at a very sunny and calm Burt Syndicate. Welcome to the Journeyman's Tales. Well, I'm back out of my local Birch Syndicate, and as it happens, I'm in the same swim I was in, I don't know, about a month ago when I was last here. So the weather is slightly different. As you can see, it is blistering sunshine, incredibly warm. The wind is coming off my back a little bit, and uh, the other side of the lake is quite cool if you're actually in the wind. So we, we've got that sort of spring transition of temperatures going on at the moment. But, Last time I was here, I could hardly get out the bivvy because of the rain. So it was a nice, steady arrival, steady getting the gear out, nothing panicky because of the rain and wind and all the rest of that nonsense. Feeling a bit calmer. <laughs> all the rods are out. More or less the same spots as I fished last time. Slightly in the deeper water because the uh, those geese are going crazy again. Slightly deeper water because the uh, the marginal uh, lilies are beginning to show around the island. Well, certainly around the close margins as well. But there's certainly you can just about when it's calm, you can see that they're beginning to show on the surface around the island. So I've pulled back a little bit into deeper water. It's been fishing incredibly well. Some big fish have come out, and a new lake record came out over the bank holiday weekend. So here we are, picking up the crumbs again. But it's quite quiet, there's only a few of us on, which is nice. Everything's nice and relaxed for a change. I'm having the usual coffee. Everything's more or less what you've all seen before with me. I'm out there with the monster crab and uh, a sprinkling of squid and orange crumb chop boilies and a few whole boilies out there over each rod. Usual rigs, all exciting stuff. Can't wait for something to happen. I just want to get, doesn't have to be a big one, I just need to get a fish under the belt. Then I can start worrying about the size of them. But uh, in the meantime, just relaxing for a change in this wonderful weather. Well, I'll just give you a quick evening update. Not a lot's happened, really. I have moved the left-hand rod a little bit closer to the island. There's a couple of fish moved in a very minor way where the new pads are coming through. So I've just gone a little bit closer to the pads with the left-hand rod. The others are still the same. Apart from that, it's all very quiet, but it's become very busy here. There's a lot of people turned up since I arrived. We live in hope. <laughs> well, good morning. Unfortunately, a quiet night. Nothing seemed to show itself. I saw that couple of small shows which made me move the left hand rod before it got dark but I did stay up for quite a while last night nice didn't see anything moving around it was quite calm out there you could just about make out the line of new lilies coming through just off the island and I couldn't see anything moving around out there apart from the the geese that are 
always causing a fuss. But I say it was a very calm night. We did have a bit of a moon at one point. Temperatures dropped out, but that's what happens at this time of year. You get the warmth in the day, and then as soon as the sun goes off, temperatures plummet. We haven't got the balance of temperatures yet. But there we are. We've got another 24 hours to go. Obviously, we'll stick it out and hope for the best. I'm going to give it another few hours before I refresh the rods, just in case there's the early morning run. You never know. As you can see, the sun is high in the sky. It's warming up the treat, although there's still a bit of a chill to the wind coming off my back. But at the moment, I've got uh, two zigs out to the right-hand side of the swim and one fishing long to the island, just off the lily pads. And uh, I'm going to leave that till getting on for tea time. I'm going to try and put all three rods back on the island, maybe a little bit closer to the island. Apparently that's what they seem to be doing, swimming around the island. Very, very tight in. So that's the final plan, I think, if nothing happens on the zigs. Thirty-four, four. <laughs> I don't know what time it is, I'll take my watch off. It's got to be pushing towards up us three in the afternoon. It's boiling hot. Middle rod on my new favourite bait, Monster Crab Wafter. Absolute <laughs> thrill to bits with this late arrival. Come on now. How about that? Oh, oh shit. Let's get her back, I think. Oh, she's still very lively. Well, as you can see, it's tea time as we're coming into the last evening. 
at last the heat has gone out of the day. I don't do well in the heat anymore. But it's cooling off a treat now. And I suspect it will probably uh, drop off quite quickly like it did last night. Maybe we get a bit of a moon again as the clouds disappear. But the, the wind is beginning to pick up off my back a bit now. And that's quite refreshing actually. But much relieved that uh, that fish turned up out of nowhere really. I didn't see anything showing at all. And all of a sudden bing off went the middle rod about up to three quarter four, something like that. And as you saw that beautiful 34 pounder. So uh, a bit more relaxed about things now. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to redo the, the left hand rod because that's been sitting out there for a while now. Ready for the night. Hopefully something else might turn up. But uh, feeling much more relaxed now. Well, good morning. Final morning is here and a very quiet night. In fact, I actually got a bit of sleep in last night. I missed all the clouds disappearing and the stars coming out and the moon coming out. Caught the tail end of it this morning. It's just disappearing behind the trees. And the sun is now beginning to uh, come up from behind me. The wind has changed completely around 180 degrees is now blowing from right to left the air pressure <laughs> the old barometer is dropping conditions are improving but my time is more or less done spent a lot of time questioning myself whether I'm doing it right like we all do when we're not catching but uh, fortunately one eventually turned up in the heat of the afternoon which was quite surprising but can't be disappointed with a 34, can you? So um, I'm going to go home. Happy bunny. It'll probably be quite a short video this one, but pleased to get back out in the bivvy again. It's all well. I talk that down as an achievement these days. But I'm going to finish this coffee, start slowly packing away, and uh, yeah, go home and relax. <laughs> but thanks for your company on this journeyman's tales. I'll catch you all again soon. Cheers for now.